uh, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Now, I know nothing of All this character. Me. Ten Rings Brand has been new. in Marvel in the MCU since uh, Iron Man. Iron Man 1. At least wow. the mention of Ten Rings. The- that was the organization that captured Tony Stark and then he broke away. Or at least they took that name. They used and it And then for they had the fake Mandarin in Iron Man 3. Mm-hmm. And so this is like bringing in the real Mandarin and the Ten Rings. So now, I don't know. Oh, oh, Maybe there's not so that much. with the Ten Rings? The Mandarins thing? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense to me then. Well, yeah. and so to that point, mm-hmm. the we know that the bad guy in this movie will be the real mandarin not the fake mandarin trevor. that we saw in iron man i love 3. Trevor, trevor so much <laughs> trevor um this is this is going to be the real um uh the real one um this is a very cool movie from many aspects um you know we talk about we have talked about inclusion we've talked about um different aspects of of everything um this is an Asian led movie yeah. directed by an Asian director. Um, the characters, the actors, as far as we know, are all of Asian um, uh, Canadian. I won't, say, I won't say that they're all from Asia because they're not. The, the main character, Shang-Chi, is actually Canadian, but he's Asian descent. Um, and so this is a very, very cool movie from that standpoint. One thing that I think is amazing about this movie is the lead uh, actor. Uh, his name is uh, Simu, Sim, Simu Liu. Um, I don't know anything about him, but I started following his Twitter and it's amazing. <laughs> um, he <laughs> He's hilarious. And back in 2000, whatever, 2012, I think it was, or 14, he said, he tweeted Marvel saying, hey, we need an Asian an Asian movie. And then he'd like hashtag Shang Chi. And so like <laughs> worked out well for him, huh? I see and that. It's it was twenty eighteen. Uh well you he... go back even further than that and he did something. Okay, yeah. Uh, so this is a thread. Um hold on. But he just recently responded to his own thread and said thanks yeah, for getting oh, yeah. back to me about it. Yes, that was amazing. Yeah. So he he tweeted he tweeted out in 2018, okay Marvel are we going to talk or what? Hashtag Shang Chi. And then, and then five days ago, he tweeted, "Thanks for getting back to me." <laughs> <laughs> There's this um, an image of him on the stage of Comic Con Hall H, and he's kneeling down on the ground next to Benedict uh, Cumberbatch, and hmm. the tweet just says, "Oh my God, he's touching me!" Like five times because <laughs> he's fanboying out over uh, Doctor Strange. So that's pretty cool. In, in July 17th, 2014, he tweeted, Hey, Marvel, great job with Captain America and Thor. Now, how about an Asian American? Yeah. So <laughs> and he's then, been, and he's then four been four days ago. He read, he, he, he responded to that tweet, tweet with an LOL. <laughs> he's been lobbying for a while. Um, seems like he's a pretty good sport about it, too. So. Yeah, he tweeted, uh, he tweeted, I have stared into Tom Hiddleston's eyes and forgotten how to form sounds with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like this guy's become my hero. Yeah. Um, and so I'm very excited for him. I don't, I don't know anything about him. Unfortunately, I wish I did now that, that, uh, that I've read some of his stuff, but, um, um, he's, he's been in a lot of different, um, uh, Canadian things. He was in, uh, orphan black, um, Oh really? So done some thing. small stuff. The, um, the article here on IO9 said he was just cast this Tuesday and he after performing a screen test on test Sunday. On Sunday. So it's pretty recently that they That's crazy, man. Yeah, threw him in there. So That's it, crazy. This is all happening very fast right now, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Um Aquafina is also going to be um uh Tony uh Loon uh Leung Loon. I I don't know how to pronounce his name. I apologize. Um, he is playing the Mandarin. Um, so this is, this should be a fun, a fun movie. I think, um, I got to imagine, uh, you know, knowing, having read a little bit about Shang-Chi since the announcement, um, he isn't, he's a, an assassin, um, in these, you know, martial arts and master of multiple of them. And so, um, but I don't think he has, again, I don't think he has any special powers. I don't think he, I don't think there's anything beyond his awesomeness 
Um, I could be mistaken, but I couldn't find anything about him um, from that standpoint. So this would be like genre of the movie would be like straight up just kung fu movie. That's yeah. presumably, yeah, yeah. I mean, his abilities on uh, Wikipedia. His abilities, uh, skilled martial artist, self du oh self duplication. Oh, I misread that self duplication. Went. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know what that means, but it means it's gonna be like the Matrix with make Agent copies. Smith. Yeah, just a million. He has beaten numerous superhuman opponents. Uh, Stout number. Three million to one. Go. Huh. I don't know. Oh, Shang Chi was able to create an unlimited number of duplicates of himself following exposure to cosmic radiation from the incursions. Hmm. So there you go. Interesting. I, don't know I wonder if that comes into play. Is. Yeah, I don't either. I wonder if that comes into play uh, in the in the movie or not, or if this is prior to any of that taking place. Hmm. Um, but, but that's a cool power if it if it yeah. shows up. Self duplication. Uh, that's fun. Um, so that's that is Shang Chi. Excited about that one. Mm -hmm. The last movie that was announced officially for Phase Four is Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Couple really cool things about this one. One, um, Scarlet Witch is going to be in it. Um, she has she has a role in the movie. Two, this is considered Marvel's first horror movie. Um, which. I don't know what that means, but they've got me really, really curious. Um, I've read the rumor that the villain in this movie is Nightmare, um, mm -hmm. who has the ability to control people's dreams after they've fallen asleep. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's accurate. It kind of makes sense to me. Um, I know that Nightmare is one of Doctor Strange's um, adversaries uh, throughout the comics. Um, so... Yeah, that's that's kind of all I know about this one. Do you guys have any other any other info? That no, but I like the idea mm -hmm. of a horror movie, M horror MCU movie directed by Scott Derrickson, who already has horror movie chops. So, yeah, I'm I'm really all cool. in for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're bringing in the multiverse. I don't know how that's going to affect everything as we continue forward. I could see where this might um have something to do with the x-men so i could see them pulling in the x-men and mutants into the world based off of this spoilers for far from home i guess if you haven't seen it yet but and i guess i said it in the trailer but quentin beck was talking about him coming from the multiverse which obviously was a little crap but doesn't necessarily mean that the multiverse thing that he was talking about wasn't wasn't real, real and yeah. that there aren't you know the different designations for like the current MCU timeline is on Earth six one six or whatever, and there's an Earth eleven eighty two out there somewhere or whatever. So I feel like what they set up in that movie is a thing that's actually happened. Like the snap did maybe did tear a hole in the rift between Space dimensions or whatever. Continue. Yeah, and you have access to the multiverse. Um, just that Quentin Beck was full of crap when he said that that's where he was from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, and I lied too, but we'll get to that. Um, I, you man, did, you did lie. I was wondering why. I like, totally there's forgot one about more that right one. here. There's a few yeah. more things um, to talk about. So, the horror movie aspect is very, very cool. Very, very cool. Um, I'm I'm excited about that if for no other reason. Um to see Benedict Cumberbatch in a horror movie I think is very cool. I don't I don't know why. I just feel like that's a neat a neat role for him. Um so this will be this will be a, a good one for us to keep our eye on and and uh hopefully they can pull this out and like you said, they've got the right director in there to mm -hmm. make it work. Um they've got the right director. Yeah. Um that premieres May seventh, twenty twenty one. 